Hey folks, this is Sam Proof, and I'm at the iMockery booth with Mr. Roger Barr himself. How about that? How's it going, going right? Sam? Good, good to see, see you. Again. Indeed. Right I remember you here last year. Yeah, that was... Your hair's was, grown quite a bit since then. It is. Then. At least half an inch, yeah, maybe more. Yeah. When are you going to shave that? You, yeah, when are you going to shave that pickle? That's no, what I'm talking about. Oh, this pickle. Hey, yo. Wow. It's a good start. Good start. Yeah, all right. Good interview, man. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Two years in a row. Wait a second. Cause we want so badly to believe in you. Uh, so right, what do you got going on this year? We have a Bobo's Big Adventure. How about that? Nice. There he is. Oh, look at that. A Bobo's Big Adventure. Uh, last year we had him as well, but now as you can see, he's on a full arcade cabinet. We've got a customized uh, tank stick here with the classic red and uh, NES controls. So yeah, yeah it's all uh, it's all running off of a little laptop that's hidden in beneath. Uh, and, uh, yeah, um, we've added a lot more levels onto the game too. Since oh yeah, is last it year. a lot harder? Uh, it's, no one's beaten the game this year so far, really? and this is day what? This is like the third day uh, so far. And if they win, what do they get? Uh, they, if the first person who beats the game at Comic Con this year, I'll probably give them like one of our pixel posters or something right. like that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Got to give them some kind of reward. I want to see one person beat it. Yeah. They've come so close. How many so levels are there? Now? Uh, so far in the game, there are about five levels. The final game will probably be close to ten. So we're about halfway done. Uh, hoping to have it out this Christmas, but we keep adding more and more onto it. It's just one of those stream of conscious, you know, kind of kind of games. So. All right, now speaking of video games, you guys recently took what's possibly one of my most favorite things and one of my most hated things, and you put them together. Can what you that guess what it is? Human Centipede. That is correct, sir. Yes. You we win turned, your own poster. Yes. We turned Human Centipede into a video game. Uh, and that yeah. was that was quite a trip. It's disturbingly a brilliant. Uh, I could not believe how that blew up. It was yeah. like all over the place. So That's that great. was a lot of fun. Are there um, numbers on that? Can you say how many people I played that game? I don't know how many today? people now. Uh, I mean, it, it's been at least a million so That's far awesome. when you combine all the stuff. And on Newgrounds especially got a lot of publicity for yeah. that. So um, New York Times wrote about it. I Did mean, they? I could not... I, I didn't even expect to see New York Times like talking about fantastic. something that cheesy, so right, that was right. cool. Well, did, did they comment on how annoying the cop is? He's way too fast. He's just like the original. I, don't, I disagree. Game. No, I think you've no. sped him up quite a no. bit. No. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, and this is an exclusive uh -oh. for you. Uh, there's a little secret in the intro of the game. If you go on the instructions, if yeah. you click on laser. You know, the mad scientist's name is Dieter Laser, right? Yeah. If you click on that, it'll unlock the laser in the game for the entire game. That's and amazing. you can blast your way through everything. So, what a secret. Scoop. What a scoop. You heard it here first, folks. That's fantastic. Anything yep. else going on at the booth that you want to um, talk I mean, about? we got plenty of you know, new shirts this year. My wife, uh, she's making the nice shark. Uh, Shirt up there, you can see nesting right next to the right? nesting doll one. So Very that's cool. we're real happy about that. She's got a nice yeah. clay print over there. Yeah. We've got our lovely old pixel poster, as always. Oh. Um, and we're also on the side. We're working on another game, much like Human Centipede, that we think might blow up. Okay. It's one based on the BP oil spill. So you can expect that coming soon. Okay, well, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yep. Is it combined with Snake? Or are you taking an old game again? And we are. We're we're taking an old it? game, but totally changing it this time. Human Centipede was a direct remake of Centipede. Right. Of this course. is just we're using much like a Bobo. We're using different sprites and characters. Okay. To right. uh, to make fun of the whole uh, oil spill mess because you gotta laugh at that. Right. What is your favorite thing that you've seen at Comic Con or has passed in front of the booth? The uh, giant Thor throne. Oh yeah, Odin's throne. Uh, Odin's throne. Yeah. That was uh, pretty awesome. That was um, pretty good. The Behemoth booth, I, I always love the Behemoth. They are awesome. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Castle Crashers, the game, or uh, their new Battle Block Theater game. So good. Very, very good. So, yeah, those are definitely some of my favorites, as always. So Awesome. Well, I'm sure we'll see you next year. And, uh, I hope so. Are you coming next year again? I hope so. Very good. I hope and to be involved. Shake in the to booth. you too, cameraman. <laughs>